everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do a round brush flower on this green gloss wine bottle I have cleaned the bottle off and washed it or went over it with rubbing alcohol and it's ready to go uh, this is my bottle that I use for videos and I wipe it off rinse it off whatever um, after the video so let's get started I'm going to be using a number 12, a magic flat brush, a number 14, a magic round brush, and a number 8 deer foot stippler. Paint I'm using today is all folk art paints, combination of enamels and multi-surface, using school bus yellow, yellow ochre, tea berry, Thicket, Lime Green, and Wicker White. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Again, all my designs that I show you in videos are intended to be easy and great for beginner painters. If you're someone that's more experienced, you can add your own little twist to my designs or use my designs in, as an inspiration. Um, that's up to you. Also, I wanted to mention all the products that I use. I do put affiliate links below the video. If you want to purchase through those, you're welcome to do so. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is just stick my brush into the white. Okay. And I'm going to do my design just randomly around the bottle. So basically what I'm doing is pushing down and pulling towards the center, pushing down, pulling towards the center, just very, very simple. Now just keep in mind the more opaque your design is, the more durable the design will be because that means you have good coverage and that's what we're looking for when we do a, we do a glass painting design. Now on a bottle it's not as important as it would be if you're doing a drinking glass of some sort because that's something that's going to be used and handled. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to go ahead I'm not going to rinse my brush or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and dip it into the tea berry. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep this on here, but the tea berry. And then I'm just going to go back around and go back over the, the petals. I always want to call them leaves, but go back over the petals. Now, if you don't get it all the way, that's fine. But again, keep in mind that the, because I'm putting a lot of different layers on here, my coverage is going to be thicker and that will create a good, durable design. And keeping in mind too, I just like to stress that, you know, my designs are intended to be simple. They're not intended to be real difficult. For one thing, I personally don't have the wherewithal to do a design that has 25,000 different steps or that takes two hours to do. Then I'm gonna go back over, whoops, pulled in, wipe that off a little bit holding a little chunk of something there. Now I can just quickly go over it. I guess that this one has more layers to it than I typically do, just so you know. And the thing of it is, if you don't want to do all these different layers, that's fine. Again, that's up to you. 
because you get it to a point where you like it. You like the look of the petals. That's what matters. And yes, I am going to go over it again, just one more time. Add the tea berry in here. And I can go like to one side, maybe not even cover the whole thing, or I can cover the whole petal. It's up to, up to me. I just want to make sure I have a good coverage and a little mixture of the colors. Let me go back over this one a little bit here. Get the end of it there. That's why I say if you if you after a couple layers you feel like you like it, then just leave it at that. You don't have to keep adding the layers that I'm adding if you don't want. Okay. All right. So then the next thing I'm going to do is dip my brush into the lime green. I'm using the flat brush. I am going to dip a little bit into the white. Just very, just kind of um, softens that green a little bit. And then I'm just going to come out here, maybe do a few little sprigs here and there. I'm not going to do a lot of, lot of leaves, although I could. Let's just pull this one out here a little bit. And I'm not doing as many. flowers as I did on my sample because I'm finding that I don't have as much room as I did on my paper. So here we go. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is just come here. I'm going to kind of do a little blending stroke, but I'm going to push it down and I'm going to wiggle. Just a slight little wiggle, come back, and then I'm going to turn it, come back like that. Now, if it's not as full as you want it, you can go back over it, up to you, or you can leave that part out. Again, I'm just wiggling it a little bit, coming to a point, coming back, and I'm going to turn it. And then go back down in here. And that didn't, um, I'll just fill it in a little bit. I don't want it to be too barren. Come down here, do the same thing. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Uh, okay. Come up and then turn it. Now you could just come back over this with a smaller brush or you can come back over it just like I'm doing as I do it. It's the only problem with glass and you're doing this on paper or wood or whatnot it would work better for you because of the surface. it down, pull it back, and swerve it. Like I said, you could come back over these with a tinier brush if you want. Give it more dry time, and then come back over it. That's really up to you. When you do this kind of a design, it's a little bit more difficult when doing it on glass. I guess because like your surface is so slippery. A lot of times when you pull the uh, paint it actually pulls it up as opposed to covering the surface. Or you can minimize it and not do it as as big of a swoop. All 
up to you. Or you can do it on a different surface and that way it'll cover better. Now this one's going to go over the petal a little bit. Come back, turn your brush. Again, turn your brush. And then we're going to do another one here. Just very simple, very simple. And like I said, if you don't get the coverage you want, just go right back over it. And then we're going to come up here. said I promise you once you get into painting you're going to have your own little techniques and what's comfortable to you what's not comfortable to you you'll find your way just takes practice good surface to practice on is actually wax paper um, reason being is it has a very slippery surface Kind of similar to what you would find when you're glass painting. So that's why it's a good, a good surface to practice on. So then when you're done, if you want, you can come back in, add some little stems through the little veining, kind of stems through the center if you want. Up to you, I'm just doing them real slight. Like that. Got off the screen a little bit there. All right, so there you have it. Now, if you want, and if you look at this and you say, oh, you know, I want something that maybe add another petal in here, you certainly can. Just kind of go through and, like I said, it comes up a little bit. Just got to be careful with it. And then you can go like that down into the leaf. And you've got one down in there. If you feel like you need another one, <laughs> once you've done that, you know, you certainly can. It's kind of fun, you know, just to go over the, the flower petals a little bit. Because, you know, in nature, or if you're putting a bouquet together, they're not going to be separated. You're going to have leaves over the top of the flowers and, and whatnot. You know, that's just how it goes. So like I said, if you want to add more flower or leaves in there, you can. The last thing I'm going to do, take my dear foot stippler. And I am going to go into the yellow ochre. All right. And then I'm just going to tap in a center like that. Tap in my center, just easy peasy. I could put both colors on at the same time, but I'm just going to do one at a time right now. And then I'll add to the back of the heel, put it on there, and come in here, tap in, tap in, and tap in over here, just real lightly. I apologize, my furnace is, or air conditioning is turning on here. And then I like to just go back in, just randomly, and finish it off that way. Now if you want to add like dots to it or anything like that, you certainly can. I'm not going to on this one. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I think that's pretty festive, very simple, very quick. These bottles are so much fun to paint. Great for your home decor. They make awesome gifts. I add lights to mine. I've also made bird feeders, uh, whether it's uh, water feeders or the seed feeders. Those are fun too. This one though would not be good for that because you can't put a hook on the bottom. So anyways, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. 
new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would hit that share button that you'll see underneath the video, share this on your social network with all your family and friends, I would certainly appreciate it. Until the next time, thanks so much for stopping by. Please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.